Welcome to the Zix TV. I am the Zix. And we're going to be having a look at this Zippo set. Military War. Zippo Block Military Series. The Air Force. With 191 pieces. And it is a 3-in-1. More change or fun. With free blocks detacher. Giving. It's probably a... Uh, Zippo is probably a uh, another Chinese brand. So, um, with the parts in this set... When I say 191, you can build this Air Force fighter and whatever this is behind it. Or um, the Island of Artillery Battalion with a combat boat there and whatever that is. And Kamikaze Frigate. Two boats and a little base there. So, what I did, similar to what I did with the land vehicle set, is I bought three of these. Um, this one was a bit more expensive than the one with the land vehicles. I don't know why, but it was, uh, I think, $18 on Amazon. So, we're going to be checking out all three of the builds that you can do. All three of the uh, the model selections that you can do with 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 this 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 set here in a moment and here they are we got our uh, Air Force fighter jet here and our base those go together we got our big boat here with this little base those go together and then this little base here and our combat bolts there kamikaze frigate um let's see here's the instructions so we can build this here or that or that with uh, 191 pieces and you're going to have uh, pieces left over all three sets uh, left, left, left over a uh, considerable number of pieces left over from all three builds um, and we get the, uh, the Zippo brick remover here with Zippo embossed on it. They just took a Lego one and and uh, they just did a Lego one. Anyway, let's have a look at our our main build for this set: the uh, combat fighter here. Well, it's a mini model of a uh, of a fighter jet. Not many figure accessible. I don't know. Um, for me, there's something uh, satisfying about being able to put a mini figure in and close the canopy over. Him. Not much of a fan of mini models, but there it is. Um, a lot of these pieces are, are rip-offs of Lego pieces like this one here. Um, they, they just did it in the, the military green color. And these are printed pieces, not stickers. I'll have a closer look at those when I have a look at the minifigures. There's our mini model of a fighter plane. pretty good build although it's a mini model and then built with the leftover parts and leaving some parts behind we get this base here there's one of our guys and there's another guy over there it's staircases 
railings. And a flag. And let's get him out of the way. This little piece is a uh, spring loaded missile launcher, a small one. And we can, this one isn't cooperating. Should be able to lock it off to the side there. Well, this one isn't cooperative. You uh, should be able to lock it off to the side. Well, now it's going there. And then you let go and it, it launches your missile. Like that, and it fell onto the floor. So we get this little spring loaded missile launcher, and we've got a Lego flip fire missile there. There's our first build that we can do with this set. And then the second one, we can do this one here. And this is precariously just attached to these posts up front there. There's one of our guys with the railing. We've got a printed part there. Staircase. Looks like it was just thrown together with extra parts from building this. Pretty decently sized boat. Got one of our soldiers on there with the spring loaded missile launching thing. I do not believe we can fit a minifigure in there. I don't believe it's, yeah, it's not designed for it. So that's just for appearance. You, you can't fit a minifigure into the uh, uh, the driver's seat there. Yeah, printed parts. It was a pretty entertaining build. You got all these underside pieces used here. And we build off of that. And it's got a little propeller in the back. I'm not sure what this is spacious deck you could uh, take the second guy and put him here I like this one this one's cool and then our third build is the uh, kamikaze frigate you can get uh, this little one here this dippy little boat here for, for this guy and this larger one Spacious interior there. You could probably fit a second guy in there. Built onto these base plates. The uh, the parts, the selection of parts that we get don't don't appear to have been designed for any one set because we get the propeller here. And then the uh, landing gears for the uh, for the plane. It, it appears like uh, someone had the idea. Let's let's make a set where you can build all these things from us. And I think that's pretty cool. Old uh, Lego style. And he actually fits in there pretty well. He's sitting down. It's got a little steering wheel in there. One of the wheels. Uh, landing gear wheels for the the jet fighter used as a steering wheel 
pretty nice and then with the extra parts they just made this this little base here looks pretty dippy to me those are the three uh, different builds that we can do I like this one this one is nice even though we can't fit a guy in there I still think it's nice and have your your soldiers out on top so I would say this is my favorite of the three builds that we can do jet fighter Air Force Island of Artillery Battalion and Kamikaze Frigate this one is good too I like the boats better than the plane <laughs> let's have a look at our minifigures here's one of our soldiers not as detailed as the, uh, the, the one that comes with the ground vehicle but he gets this nice gun and he has no print on the back these are just like Lego minifigures although the arms on some of them are loose the it comes with the arms already plugged in and then you just plug in his his legs and his head and, and his hat so this arm is loose on this guy this one has more resistance there's that guy this guy that's pretty loose this one's tighter that's, that's more like a regular Lego minifigure this one's loose and then from the other set we got oh, this guy with a big sniper rifle looking thing that arm is like a normal Lego minifigure. This one's getting there. It's pretty close. It's kind of loose though. And then we got this guy. Is uh, it's that's kind of loose. So is that. I like the gun though. And here's this guy from the third set. looser than a Lego minifigure but this one's really loose and finally this guy it's looser than a Lego minifigure that's more like a Lego minifigure and there's this gun there let's have a look at some of the details on our uh, printed parts there's the uh, star design there army at this one here. Looks like that. Looks like the Y is missing. Uh, that might be a misprint. This one looks nicer to me. Um, what else we got? Army. boat here and there's a close-up of the uh, little spring-loaded shooter push that back you can lock it off to the side there there we go it's got a stud on the bottom and it's plugged into this jumper here you can lock that you can lock this off to the side Maybe. Is this one going to... And then, boom. Launch your missile. So there's a look at that piece. Got some... Army! Star! Those look like good prints.
this one here. Those. That one. That looks like a good print. That looks like a good print. And then on this one here. It looks like it's slightly off center. But uh, it's okay. Now the uh, the parts quality is uh, similar to Lego. How they uh, the grabbing power, how they uh, go on to each other. Uh, it's I would say it's exactly like Lego. So they go on really, really easily. They come off really easily. Um, good solid Lego style uh, um, grabbing power oh we got a special piece here need to show you this it's, it's, a, it's not quite a plate but it does build both ways so here's another brand building both ways and you can put your uh, put your clippy clip on there with your missile is it, where does this attach? over here really loose get on there there we go I think I got it right well anyway um, parts quality is pretty good some of the uh, quality as we observed on the uh, the printed pieces might be lacking it's lacking on that part there had a had a had a uh, a part that wasn't properly printed in the land vehicle set as well um, overall um, good quality I would say although the minifigure quality is is lacking in the arms a lot of a lot of the minifigure arms are loose so I wouldn't get this for the minifigures I would get it for the the vehicles and stuff um, quality is it varies from set to set so you might get a you might get a set that has a, a messed up uh, printed part you might get a set that has many figures with loose arms that flop around uh, so anyway it's, it's a pretty good set I think uh, I, I, I like the boats. The boats are a lot nicer than this this mini model of this airplane here. Although this this is still as as far as mini models go, it's pretty cool. I'm just not a fan of mini models. Um, like the boats. Probably gonna take the the jet fighter and make another boat with it or something. And, um. Here's all the extra parts. This, I took all the extra parts from uh, all three sets. The, uh, the the airplane leaves behind this this window piece, and the boats leave behind the landing gears for the airplane. And yeah, each each. Each build leaves behind different pieces. Different pieces left behind. And those are the three things that we can build with this Zippu set. Military War. Zippu. 
pretty good set I like that one the best and this big boat isn't too bad either that comes in second don't really like the di dippy dippy boat like these two boats here I like those as for all these uh, little bases that are constructed from extra parts uh, I could do without those mostly like the boats so that is my review of this Zippu set thank you for watching